Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show the Scopus Index journals in which you can submit and publish your article for free. I'll also explain how to check whether the journal is listed in the Scopus database and about the publication frequency of that particular journal. There will be an early update in Scopus website. So it is always advisable to see whether the journal is listed in the Scopus or not. Let us see the very first journal which is Turkish Journal of Electrical Engineering and Computer Sciences. Here you can see that just if you scroll down, this is the home page where you can see that free submission and publication. So, this free submission and publication means you can submit it for free and also you can publish for free. In few journals, they may ask you for uh, processing, okay, like the charges for processing. So, even they may like in few journals, they'll ask for uh, publication fees, and uh, in some journals, they'll ask for processing fee. But here, this line means that that is free submission and publication. Okay, and it is also open access. If you want to check like um, what is the publication policy, you can click here. And uh, if you want to find uh, some other manuscripts, you can click here and check for that. So my advice is, if you want to submit any paper in any journal, before that, just download any other existing journal that is a paper which is already manuscript which is already submitted and published there because from that you will understand what are all the factors the authors has considered okay like how many diagrams they have included and what is the insights that you can observe from that okay like a formulas or an expression you can find many important insights from that okay so that you have to always check okay and the next one is you can see that it is published six times a year fine so it is public they are publishing six times per year so for every two months they are publishing a papers or manuscripts okay so in every journal you have to see this first and in many journals you can also see like what are all the indexing okay scope of the journal abstract and indexing this will be there in almost every journals in that you can find what are all the indexing they have okay that is a scope is indexing ebsco host like that you can see this is also indexed in web of science Okay, so now anyhow in few journals, no, we have other uh, uh, cloned journals. Okay, there are many other cloned journals which will be ex exactly looking like this journal. Okay, they'll also have the same name, but sometimes the ISSN number will be different. Okay, or else any names will be different that you can check. So whenever you see any journal which is indexed in Scopus, you have to cross check. How can you cross check? So just go to the scopus.com. This is the Scopus database website. Okay, once you give scopus.com, you can see that there is an option called sources. Click on the sources. You can see various options. Okay, once you click on the sources, see in this option you have title, subject area, publisher, ISSC. Okay, based on whatever you want, you can just search it. So I'm just trying to search it based on the title. Okay, because we are going to search with the title Turkish Journal. So let us type here. Okay, you can see the Turkish Journal of Engineering. And once if you click it, you can see that you have Turkish Journal of Electrical and Engineering and Computer Science is listed in Scopus database. Okay, just log into that here you can see that what is the issn number okay you can just go and cross check 1303-6203 so 1303-6203 this is eissn and issn 1300 and 
zero six three two. Okay, you can see this here, and you should also check what is the Scopus coverage years from nineteen ninety six to present, which means till now, Turkish Journal is indexed by Scopus. Okay, so this is the worst journal which we have discussed now. Let's proceed to the next journal. which is science and technology studies okay so here you can see that the journal is open access and available electronically around the world the journal does not charge or the processing charges okay that is every stages are free so this is an another free journal okay scroll down if you want to see more you can just scroll down and see any other uh, any other data is available here okay and uh, you can also check like what is the uh, base of these uh, journal okay and for every journal if you are trying to submit your uh, manuscript in this journal okay so i always advise you to check the existing already published paper to see how on what criteria the particular paper has been published okay you can understand if you see more than two or three papers manuscripts you can find it find the difference okay so again let us check just copy this okay and paste it in scopus index that is a scopus website okay so while trying please close this because this is our previous search okay close this and then try with a new one either or else you will not get the proper result okay so you have science and technology studies okay so, so just click on this and cross check the issn and if 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 it has essn number then you can also check that as well okay you can check it Okay, so more information about it. For example, if you want to download, uh, uh, that is, uh, since it's an open access journal, I think you will be get you will get benefited. So almost the journals which I'm showing this is like a multidisciplinary. Okay, you can see here that you can even submit the anthropology manuscript or a sociology, history, philosophy, anything. Okay, that we call it as a multidisciplinary, right? So apart from this, like if you want to submit it, you can click submission and uh, submit your paper. So almost for all the Scopus Index journals, you have to create a login and then you have to submit it. You can you have to create a login, and uh, based on the paper template, you have to submit your manuscript. Okay. The next journal which we are going to uh, discuss is Songklan Akarin Journal of Science and Technology. Okay, this is also a free journal. Okay, you can see it here. Fine, this is a free journal, and this is also bi-monthly. Okay, so that is six issues a year. Fine, so this is free. Okay, this is an interdisciplinary platform, so you can publish like agriculture and biological sciences, research, environmental and natural resources, physical physical sciences and mathematics. okay and this is also free fine so it's an open access online indexed and abstracted in the highly respected abstract and citation databases you can submit it and no submission and publication fee here you can notice that no submission and publication fee for this okay so other uh, information regarding uh, the templates and everything you can download it from the websites itself fine and the fourth journal which you are going to talk about is valelik journal of science and technology okay here you can see that this is semi monthly which means that two issues per month okay and almost per year they are publishing nearly 24 issues so you can obviously think about it so you can submit papers uh, your manuscript here and uh, they are covering this is also multidisciplinary you can submit many any um, 
domain you you might be so you can submit it okay you can see the indexing here as well okay so as i told you can just cross check okay for everything uh, i hope i don't want to show it to you so you can just go and click on the sources and cross check not only the journals which i am showing it to you even you may find some journals which are like it's an international journals or sometimes if you are trying to publish it in a conference in that they may uh, they may indicate like uh, your papers will be your pub accepted papers will be pub published in scopus index journal then ask for what is the scopus index journal they will be uh, supporting okay and then try to find out whether it is really indexed in scopus database that is here okay because you should know this is very important thing always scopus in scopus they will be updating okay so it is always better to check twice fine and the next important uh, journal which we are going to talk about is asia pacific journal journal so asia pacific journal okay so that is also so you can see here this is asia pacific journal of science and technology most of the journals will be like a multidisciplinary okay so it is not only since you see that it is a science and technology it's not it doesn't means that it should be only computer science based or science based okay like a technology based fine you can see here that is it is from 2017 to present and even you can also go to the source home page from here clicking here you can just go to the home page of asia specific journal of science and technology got it you can see here fine so this is the publication fee is free and it is four issues per year okay only four issues so for every 3 months they are publishing the submitted articles okay and here here you can see that it is indexed in scopus got it so this is also in this journal also you can publish it for free and the next journal which we are going to see is sura nari journal of science and technology so let's go to the source again okay so suranari let's click on the title and uh, see here so you can see that it's suranari journal of science and technology here you can see that you have the journal which is indexed in scopus okay few journals will also be indexed in web of science fine and you have to definitely see whether it is still there in the scopus database that is you can see this word present okay and in few journals you cannot see the source home page in few journals you can see here if you can see here then you can simply click and go to the home page okay so this is the journal and once if you just log in few journals will tell you like how they are uh, screening the submission okay and how it is going on like uh, what is the process and within how many days you will get whether the acceptance or rejection mail okay so here also you can see that this is the uh, open source most probably all the free journals will be open source okay and there is there are no charge to submit and publish all type of articles got it and most probably you can see that in most of the journals they are working with a turnitin turnitin no plagiarism checkup okay so you can work based on that got it so other information is like downloading the author template and uh, submitting based on the submission you can you can find it from the website itself guide to other guide for others you can if you simply click here so in some web pages they'll be showing like authors in some web pages they'll be showing like a guide to authors so always it is important to check okay that is what is the guide what is the rules for you you have to follow so that is very very important okay and in few many of the journals they'll be mentioning like how many pages the manuscript should be so that also you should follow 
so don't forget to check the complete website that is about the authors and submission process and how long it will take to process it okay so these are all the important uh, journals which you can publish your uh, papers for free okay and in the upcoming videos i'm just planning to explain how you can draft your paper for scopus and sca journals and uh, about the free journals which are listed in ugc care and also the expectations of reviewers so the expectation of reviewers is must because only if you think from the reviewers point of view you can draft your manuscript very easily okay that is the point so i'll just tell you like how you can uh, draft from the beginning okay hope this video is very useful for you just start working on your research always research is a big journey don't stop anywhere just keep going all the best bye bye